try to put it on a, yeah okay thanks uh, madam uh, rastogi akshanka uh, is am i pronouncing it correctly Sir, it's akanksha it's akanksha yeah, uh, yeah correct akanksha Correct. Dr. Akanksha and Dr. Vinod Kumar, thanks tremendously. And indeed, it's my great pleasure. And thanks to Dr. Anujji, uh, my friend Dr. Srinivas Muthi, and all other organizers. I had to be there physical, but I sprained my right ankle yesterday in Calcutta airport while returning after an ADA conference. So nice to be um, indirectly facing you all. I'll be speaking on something like how do we go about exercise schedule? <clears throat> your genetics load the gun and your lifestyle pulls the trigger is what is famously known. If you can just see this, there's an updated risk by the Lipid Association of India. Whatever the class of ischemic heart disease, ASCVD, may it be low risk, may it be our recently defined extreme risk group, which we defined and we have printed it in the November 2020 JAPI. And whatever the risk, what is most important is lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. The, very fortunately, higher the risk of ASCVD, more better off, more help from lifestyle than the lower risk. Now, there are many uh, invasive techniques and many treatment strategies, but nothing equals a physical activity. You can look at the physical inactivity. Uh, it can lead to you know, dyslipidemias, hypertension, smoking, uh, some other novel risk factors, obesity, diabetes, age, all of them uh, contribute to atherosclerosis. And Indians, most of the Indians are known for a sedentary lifestyle. Uh, you see lots of, lot many uh, couch potatoes in India. And if you are not into physical activity, these are the risks, all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease mortality, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer colon and the lung. The advantages of <coughs> exercise are huge. On this, you can see here, that these are the advantages you have from the aerobic exercise. Look at this, the insulin resistance, 30 to 85% improvement in which case you could control diabetes by minimum tablet involvement. Abdominal obesity, Indians are known as thin fat Indians. So a 30% reduction in the intra-abdominal fat and even this is anti-thrombotic exercise, hypertension, a small amount of reduction in both systolic and diastolic pressures. So there are many advantages, <clears throat> cardiovascular system, hypertension, it reduces the some lipids, <coughs> And it also reduces the stroke. But what is most important is sarcopenia. We all lose 1% of our muscle mass every year after we become 50 years. And this muscle mass loss is more in females than in males. Look at this slide, very beautifully shown. You lose 12% in isometric knee extension strength by hardly being muscle mass is lost only with two weeks. This is related immobility, which we saw in recent COVID-19 epidemic. So, and there are many uh, advantages like release the stress, improves arthritis, and there are a lot of uh, effects on the lipids too. Uh, it reduces LDL by three to six milligram, reduces non-HDL, and no consistent effect on HDL, but it does improve HDL if you do around 300 minutes per week of exercise, not the regular 150. Any excuses, especially in Indians, we are known to have excuses. I don't have enough time. I get bored. The gym is too intimidating. I don't like it. I am too tired. I don't know what to do. I need to take care of my family, hell with myself. I don't care about myself. Now. Recently, uh, there has been a plethora of cytokines being released, which are being called as exerkines. Whatever exercise you do, whether aerobic or weight managing, they release what we call as my myokines in the uh, blood from muscle, from liver, from fat cell, 
pancreas and the heart these cytokines enter the blood and or some in the extracellular vesicles these released cytokines are also the released auxiliary kinds they in turn kick for example the heart the brain the muscles to for example heart should increase heart rate and a blood pressure muscle should be able to tolerate the exercise this is one of the recent uh, um, theories and you can see how many <clears throat> exergic kinds are released in the blood this is an icmr study uh, the previous one which also shows both indians in rural and in uh, urban both women and men have uh, an increased physical inactivity this is a very interesting slide look at the right side an android obesity look at the left side the gynoid obesity both of them have the same bmi but one on the right is more prone for uh, metabolic risk because of the being a thin fat indian that you see therefore very important uh, i always tell in my lectures um, tail of the tape is waist not waist see that you keep your waist to less than 90 cm if you are a male less than 80 cm if you are a female the activity advised by some physical activity guidelines and many guidelines including european uh, american and including in india especially rhsdi and even lipid association of india uh, has come out it means the same 150 minutes uh, per week which is around 30 to 45 minutes for 5 days a week and then muscle strengthening exercise one could easily do muscle strengthening by using the dumbbells and for the lower limbs you should half set for about 20 counts for about 20 reps that's what you should do but and uh, short bouts are now uh, a, a modern thing i just try to simplify it i have called it 15 by 2 rule or a 10 by 3 rule <clears throat> what does this mean either go 50, either go 15 minutes twice a day uh, maybe um, you know around your house uh, and when you come back go around your home so that three either two bouts of um, 15 by 2 or three times before breakfast before lunch around wherever building you are working and before dinner 10 by 3 rule so you can split up not as efficacious as the continuous 30 to 45 minutes moderate or vigorous intensity nevertheless something is better than nothing now you have many exercises you can just see the leisure walking would make you spend around 85 calories a brisk walk that's what we advise look at that it is almost double the energy that you do many types of exercise strengthening exercise two to three times a day look at this slide here all these girls are half sitting this is very important you must strengthen your core muscles and flexibility exercise is very important you may go to gym and you may have a six abs abdomen but if you are not able to catch something sitting on the back in the interscapular area you don't have flexibility so flexibility is extremely important and of course balancing is very important as you age your falls will decrease and diabetic foot we know all this i already talked about you of all exercises the price goes to brisk walking it's very easy suits all ages what you need is only two things one a will power either to walk two times three times or at a one shot or a good pair of shoes shoes cost anywhere from 3000 to 2 lakhs in india so depending on your purse buy the shoes talk test how do you know whether you are into vigorous activity or a moderate activity when you are being active try talking not singing moderate intensity activity if you are breathing hard but can still have conversation with your colleague next door then uh, it's a moderate but if you can say only a few words i am going if it is like that then it is a vigorous intensity exercise if you can talk in a sm- slow tone it's moderate city intensity exercise there are 1440 minutes in every day and you should be able to schedule at least 30 minutes if i was physically present there i'd ask you to raise your hands and see how many of you do at least 30 to 45 minutes exercise 5 days a week that would be very important and of course prolonged sitting is new smoking and we know recent even european guidelines said you should walk about even when you are sitting on a chair every 45 minutes or 30 minutes 
for about two, three times. There are weekend warriors. These are the heroes who exercise only over the weekend and not really advisable. Uh, but still, as I said, something is better than nothing. This is European guidelines, the 5S. Sitting prolonged is not right. Stepping, keep walking. Sweating, you must sweat so that you have done a proper physical activity. Strengthening exercise, which I already told you. And sleep is something that is given more importance, around seven to nine hours of sleep. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in today, uh, we do not see uh, this, this. I got it in uh, air, air, uh, air flight to Amsterdam some years ago. Now, this is how uh, women were classed as our glass, spoon, rectangle, triangle. Um, even in fact, men are not uh, exception with the obese abdomen. Today, there are 46% of the women who are rectangle. And this hourglass deformity is envied by the women itself on the women. There's a beautiful story in Mahabharata. When Draupadi was taking a bath in one of the lakes, all her, all the girls who were maids and who were looking after her, when she was bathing, they looked at her and said, wish we were men. In other words, to say how being physically fit matters. So it's very important, both men and women, that we should have proper exercises. Again, as I told you, male, female, both of them in India have... Um, high amount of inactivity. These are all recommendations I want to go through. This is our lifestyle modification. This whole article is entirely written by me, uh, in uh, which has appeared in JAPI. Uh, we do these activities regularly in the Lipid Association of India. I already told this. Moderate intensity, what are they? Walking brisk, recreational swimming, bicycling. If uh, you have good roads and a side of the road, which is not there, unfortunately, in India. Uh, roads have more holes than a proper road uh, in any city. Yeah, you can play dirt, tennis, active yoga is okay, but not as good as the activity. Vigorous intensity, talk test we saw. And how much should the heart rate be? Uh, you can look at here, somebody the age of 36, you minus in 220 and be in the burning zone of 60 to 70 percent of your target heart rate. And once you go into aerobic zone, you need not reach the top end of the heart rate, but 70 to 80 percent of the heart rate is okay. And limit screen time, very important. You have to start making in the children. If you limit screen time, your, your children will. If you go home without talking to your wife and children, hook on to the mobile, even they will hook on to the mobile. What you do it, they will do it. Yoga, really not very helpful. You can see that role of yoga is okay, but recent evidences show that the aim of the review was to systematically assess a meta-analysis of the effect of yoga. And it drew the conclusion, yoga might reduce blood pressure, heart rate, waist circumference, but these should be used as ancillary intervention, like a pickle in the diet, not a main diet. Unless you do something like uh, uh, Ayengar of Pune, who lived 92, or uh, some other guys who do half a day of yoga. But you and I can't do it. So this is only to be used as a pickle in your diet. So it is only exercise that is much better than a diet, which also is important. Stopping smoking is important. Diet is important for physical uh, activity. But exercise is the prime most. Exercise, exercise. There is an alternative. If you don't want to exercise, the best alternative is to get hospitalized with some illness later date in your lifestyle. So this is the last slide. Uh, all said and done with so much of... Uh, media trying to sort of bang each one with so much of information. What ultimately counts is each individual is a tailor-made treatment and physical activity is not tailor-made. Thank you.